Hey guys, here are a load of quick fire questions for your fourth topic in AQA chemistry. Now in this topic you had loads and loads of practicals to do and I've made videos going through all of those for you. If you want a hard copy of the questions here go to my website and get my free revision guide and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all of the other topics, quick fire questions and the whole topic video that is coming soon. Describe what happens when a metal reacts with an oxygen. You are going to get a metal oxide forms and generally you're going to see a change happen. For example, when sodium reacts with oxygen, it becomes dull and not very shiny. Whereas when magnesium reacts with oxygen, it goes from a shiny metal to a white powder. So you're going to see a change in state. List the order of the reactivity series. Another way that unfortunately the exams have got harder for you is that you don't get given the reactivity series anymore, you have to remember it. So starting with the most reactive, we have potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. I've put carbon in there because even though it isn't a metal, it is used for working out which ones need to be extracted by electrolysis and which ones can be extracted by reduction. Um, zinc, iron, tin, lead, copper, silver, gold and platinum. How are unreactive metals found? They are just found as a metal in the ground. So um, if you're looking for gold and you go on holiday to Wales um, and you do panning for gold, um, or they do it at Legoland as well, um, you can just find lumps of gold just sitting around. What is the formula of magnesium oxide? Now you need to know all of the ions and you need to know how to work out ionic formula or formula of salts. Magnesium, the magnesium ion is Mg2+, plus. the oxygen ion is O2-. Minus. If we are aiming for 0 over all, 2 positives and 2 negatives, so the formula is going to be MgO. Calcium hydroxide, our calcium ion is Ca2+, plus. our hydroxide ion, the whole thing is 1 minus. Now if we have 2 positives and 1 minus, that still leaves us 1 plus overall, so we need to have another negative in there as well. Giving us a formula of Ca, open brackets, OH, close brackets, small 2. Which ion is responsible for acidity? That is our hydrogen ion. Which ion is responsible for alkalinity? That is our hydroxide ion. pH 1 is acidic. pH 7 is neutral. pH uh, 14 is alkali. The neutralisation equation, they love asking questions about this so, so much. Our acid ion plus our alkali ion turns into water. So we have acid plus alkali makes neutral. When do ionic compounds conduct electricity? That is when they are molten or dissolved so that the um, ions are free to move around. They will not conduct electricity in the solid state. And why do they need to be molten um, to conduct electricity? I just said that so you can move around. What happens to the positive? Oh dear ions during electrolysis they go to the negative electrode and the negative ions go to the positive electrode. If a metal chloride is being electrolyzed we are going to get chlorine gas produced. If a sulfate is being electrolyzed we are going to get oxygen gas produced not sulfate gas as some of you might think. How do you test for chlorine gas? That is going to bleach damp litmus paper hydrogen gas is going to be our squeaky pop and oxygen gas is going to relight a glowing splint last few questions for higher tier only reduction is removing oxygen Oxidation is adding oxygen, but in terms of electrons we have oil rig, 
where oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. Um, balancing half equations is really important. Not only do you need to balance the atoms, you need to balance the electrons as well. So over here we have two chlorines. So we need to have two chlorines over this side as well. Over this side we have a two negative charge and this side we have a zero like charge overall. So what we need to do is we need to take away some negative charges we do that by taking away electrons and since we have two negative charges we need to take away two negative charges if you want to think about this in math terms we have two minus and then we are minusing two minus which becomes two plus two which equals zero same with magnesium over here we have one magnesium here we have one magnesium here so we don't need to balance that that's balanced already but what we do need to do is we need to add in some negative charges we need to add in two negative charges because it has a two plus charge over here so two plus plus two minus equals zero overall and zero is the charge over this side an example of a strong acid would be hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid. A weak acid would be ethanoic acid. Concentrated and dilute are different to strong and weak. Concentrated just means that there are lots of acid particles. And a dilute acid means there's not a lot of acid particles. There we go guys, um, I hope you found those helpful, lots, lots more revision things for you to do next.